One of my favorite things in the world. Jeez, it's... It's about... What time is it, actually? Because I don't know. <laughs> it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Haha. <laughs> I just got home from the bar. Uh, I was supposed to go to McFadden's, which we did, and it was completely lame, which is surprising. And I ended up going to Casey's. Now, <coughs> McFadden's is more my style. Bunch of fucking TVs everywhere. I got to watch the Jet game, and they won. <laughs> um, oh. Um, <coughs> aside from the fact that the Jets fucking won, um, fact is, is that Casey's has a reputation for being just the most pretentious place in the world, and it, it can be. And it's all fucking kids that I knew from high school, and they're all fucking douchebags, with the exception of what happened tonight. I ended up meeting some old people from school that were just really nice to me, and that's not really, Southside, not exactly like that. They're a bunch of, majority of the kids at Southside cared about Escalades and money, and it was a predominantly rich school. Um, I mean, a lot of the, a, a lot of it was, you know, kids that were, that came from money, that decided that money was just the most important thing. Anyway, getting to a, diverting from what I'm actually wanting to say, um, it was, a lot of fun. I, you know, Mike, my friend Mike, who I usually see at Cabo, decided to, said, you know, come on up and we'll hang out. And I love Mike. He's he's a good guy. He's a big fucking dude, and he's he's like a fucking teddy bear when he needs to be. And he took care of me tonight because there were a couple of creepy dudes who were looking my way, and he, he's like, he gave him a verbal bash and like, don't you fucking touch her. So it was kind of cool. Um, there was a creepy dude, like, in his 40s or 50s, I think, that was, like, scoping me out like nobody's business. I'm sorry. He had a, the dude had a fireman's t-shirt, uh, just windbreaker on, a fireman's hat, I don't care where he was from, it was, it was fucking creepy. Like, he looked at me dead on, his eyes were locked. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I want to go now. <laughs> um, but for the most part, regardless of, of the creepy old man, um, I tried to do some stunts at Casey's in one of my dance moves and one of my dance routines I remember from the music. And I landed on this thing bad, but it's not sprained or anything. It can move. It's not inflamed, I don't believe. Oh, well, maybe it might be. Um, but for the most, I landed a majority on my ass twice, but that's okay, it's all fun. It's all fun and games, there's no poor, like, people were surprised that I got back up and danced and was not embarrassed. One of my guy, like, my, my friend Alex, who apparently graduated from Southside, I had no idea. Um, he's like, you're not embarrassed by that? Like, fuck no, please, are you kidding me? I, I'm, I'm, I love it. I love dancing. It's, it's, it, you know, between the whole situation of, uh, my friend being completely in love with me, and I'm not exposing anyone here, but with people coming out of the woodwork and stressing me out and giving me bullshit, it was kind of nice to go out with the guys, see the jet game, and then go do a little dancing. I have to admit, I was missing Armani terribly because, you know, it's not his scene, but he would attempt it at least. He would attempt to come out, and because I remember we. We went to Mirage before it changed into Glow, whatever the hell it is, and, um, he purposely, it, it's a, a pretentious motherfucking place, girls in heels, and it's, oh, it's horrible. And guys dressing up in, like, alligator boots, ugh, and alligator shoes, oh, it's just horrible. It's, it's a preppy, beyond preppy shit that I don't like. But he got dress, dressed up anyway, because Ashley Simpson was playing a show there. And I got dressed up, and... He got me, literally, Armani got me 10 feet away from Ashley Simpson, and I got to touch Pete Wentz's jacket. Epic night. <laughs> so, at least he, I know he would make the effort. Um, Justin, who I drove home, who lives in Oceanside, <coughs> dude literally was drunk as fuck and could not, he needed to get a ride home, and I figured since we lived in the same town, why not? Dude literally tried to make out with me, not even kidding you. 
I'm like, yo, I have a boyfriend who I love very much, and you need to back off. Like, the, the, he, like, they pounded a few, before, they pre-gamed a little bit before they came, and, um, to, to the bar, and honestly, like, Justin was all in my shit. Joe respected me, uh, Alex respected, Mike respected me a lot, it's Justin, who was so drunk, could not see the barrier lines. Personally, this will be the last time that I will drive him home because he he tried to make out with me and I turned my neck so fast. Like he just oh it was he's not someone I like the second I was starting to speak to him, like when you're drunk you speak the truth and I didn't like anything he was coming out of his mouth and I don't think I want to be around him again. But we'll see what happens. Sorry, this <laughs> is so long, but peace out everybody. See you tomorrow.